Hi everyone, welcome to my channel Paratel Now. In today's video, I'll be talking about how to file PNP for Nova P in Experience Express Entry for Nova Scotia. I know you guys have a lot of questions, but by the end of this video, you'll gain a lot of knowledge. So please watch this video till end. After watching this video, you don't need to pay for lawyers or agents. So let's get started. Thank you. First of all, type in NovaScotiaImmigration.com choose immigrate here and then choose second last option Nova Scotia experience express entry after you hit that you can see eligibility over here one year work experience age 21 to 55 years old and you should, be, you should be having a Canadian diploma or certificate course or you should you need a CLB 5 score in IELTS and you should also be having an experience express entry uh, profile and then after that you can hit apply online after that you can go for apply now and then you have to choose English language and then create account hit continue enter email address Then confirm the email address they'll be sending a confirmation code on to this email so please enter the valid one hit continue and then after that you can choose the username to log in back again whenever you need then first name some people use middle name some people don't and then last name and then continue then after that choose the password and you should meet all those password requirements then confirm the password and then hit continue And then you can create a recovery questions and answers in case you for forgot your password and you can recover your account by answering one of these uh, security questions. After you do that, you can create account. now they have sent you a confirmation email on on your email address and then continue we need to type in that code to verify our email address and then confirm and then continue Nova Scotia online services after that you have to choose the first option you can also choose the second one if you want and then save service settings then here you can see a lot of uh, streams over here but we need to choose the first one Nova Scotia experience Express entry you can hit that green button the green arrow button and then you can see all of these sections here we need to fill these all and they can you start with the first one Enter your family name and given name, whatever is given on your passport. Make sure you enter all the correct spellings and all the de details rightly. If you ever used the nickname before, so then yes or no, sex, male, and then date of birth. Country of birth. India and then citizenship India in which country do you live now Canada and then what is your status in Canada worker and then do you have work permit yes 
and then you have to type in your work permit number and expiry date. After you do that, you have to type in, you have to choose have your work permit expired or is about to expire or if you have applied for the new one then no and then save and continue. Then after that you have to enter your passport document number here. country India expiry date and then after that save and continue and then after that uh, they need your email address in case they need additional documents or they have to notify you something they'll be using this email telephone number it's recommended that you should give your cell phone number then after that the mailing address your current mailing address street address city Port Hawkesbury and then province Nova Scotia then postal code then they ask is your home address the same as your mailing address yes save and continue then after that where do you plan to live in Nova Scotia so you can choose a city and then I'm choosing Port Hawkesbury then after that they ask for all the places where you have lived in the past five years you have to give your all of your addresses so in case in my case I have three, so I've given my all of my three addresses from two and then country, city and then province. They ask for all the specific details here. Canada, then city. It's gonna be Port Oxbury. Scotia and then add another from two country Canada city gonna be Brampton and then province Ontario and then the last one would be since you was born and then the last date when you came when you left when you left India India and then city and then province that save and continue make sure you don't leave any of the gaps in the date and then your marital status it's gonna be single if you're married then married and then save and continue they ask for the dependent and go for no save and continue and then 
the federal expression of interest so in this here you have to provide pro provide your XP, express entry profile number and for this you need to create express entry uh, profile so i'll be making uh, the diff separate video on this so how you can create a express entry profile so you will be using uh, you'll be giving uh, you'll be giving those nine digit number here and then you'll be also getting uh, this four character digits uh, in that in that ex uh, express entry profile so you need to uh, enter here then after that the federal application so you can say no and then provincial or federal application so no save and continue so what's your mother tongue so it's gonna be Punjabi so which do you use most often so it's gonna be English by mistake I've chosen French here so you make sure you choose English so do you also use English yes have you taken Canadian English language so it's gonna be else then yes then you have to enter the date and then you're gonna have to also enter the scores URL score and on the bottom it says uh, what CLB score is equivalent to your IELTS score so you can you can find this uh, you can find these numbers on CIC list so what IELTS score is equivalent to CLB score so you can you have to enter that so 5.5 means it's 6 7 means 9 and then 5.5 means 6 and then again 6 means 7 and then you have to you have taken TEF no and then after that you have to give the information about your connection to Canada have your you or spouse or common law lived in Canada in past 10 years it's gonna be yes because you are living here before and you have to enter the the date and the from what date to what day you have lived here what time so in this section particularly you have to enter the date the time you entered Canada from to and then who lived in or visited Canada it's gonna be you yourself so it's gonna be my name here so province it's gonna be Ontario reason it's gonna be uh, study then after that do you have a family member living in Canada so you have to say no save and continue what is the highest level of education successfully completed it's gonna be non-university certificate or diploma so in in this section here you have to enter how many years of school you have successfully completed in each of these so elementary or primary school and this gonna be eight years secondary or high school it's gonna be four years and then university or college two and then trade school is gonna be zero and then after that you have to you have to enter the date and the name of the institution where you have studied gonna be from to and the name of the institution St. Clair College the one I've studied in Canada and then my course it's gonna be business make sure you enter correct spellings then after that city it's gonna be Toronto and country Canada and then you can add another one one for your grade 11 and 12 from to and the name of the institution so it's gonna be 
Cambridge Convent School. This course it's gonna be grade 11 and 12. Then city and then country. Country is gonna be India. For that save and continue so do you have offer of employment so we have to choose accordingly so it's gonna be yes and then what's your position title so it's gonna be whatever you have so in my case was food service supervisor And then you have to give your NOC four digit code. You can find this on SEIC list. You can enter your position and then the CIC website will tell you your NOC code. So it's my it's six three one one and then you have to enter the annual annually send salary for that. Name of the employer or company and then street address, city, and then postal code. They ask for each and every detail. City Port Hawkesbury. Ask for the postal code and save and continue. Then after that, in this section, this is a very important section. In this, you have to enter all of your personal history. Make sure you don't leave a gap even of a one month. In order to make in order to make a video short, I'll be only entering one or two of my personal history. I don't want to make the video long so but you have to enter each and every uh, your all of your personal uh, details or personal history like wherever you've done the job and even the education all of those details will, be, will come in this section here and make sure you don't leave the gap here if you leave the gap your application will not proceed forward so be careful here in this section you have to enter each and every single detail here I'm entering my latest work history here and then I'll skip this Free Canada. Then I'll skip for now. And then after that, in this section, you have to enter why you want to live in Nova Scotia, or yeah, what are your reasons, or what interest do you have in Nova Scotia, what are your future plans. So all of those things you need to explain here. And then after that, general information: Did somebody help you to complete this form? no or yes in this case it's gonna be no and then in this you can choose friend or family or any other option and then save and continue and this one you have to uh, choose I am the applicant and then after that you have to enter your name again and then date You need, you need to check this mark here and then 
and then this is a sign of declaration you have to choose again you will check that mark and you enter your name and then date and uh, so just for the tutorial video I'm not gonna save and continue uh, but you need to save and continue and the last step would you, you would be you need to uh, you need to provide all your supporting documents your passport your resume your each and every document for this for this profile for this for this file and when you are when you add all of your documents and then you can hit submit my application if you want you can even review your application and that's all and you can see here all of your these sections are completed and then after that you can hit submit my application and then from there you're good to go thank you i hope you like this video so please hit that like button and subscribe the channel as you can watch more informative videos like this and please share this video with your friends as well if you have any query so please uh, do comment in the comment section below and i'll see you in the next video thank you